CAT 2024 LRDI section slot 3. The figure below shows a network with three parallel roads represented by horizontal lines RA, RB and RC and another three parallel roads represented by vertical lines V1, V2 and V3. As you can see RA, RB, RC three horizontal lines VA, V2, V3 three horizontal lines these are the roads. It says the figure also shows the distance in kilometer between the two adjacent intersections. So first intersection, this intersection will be known as RA V1 and this intersection will be known as RA V2. So the distance between these two intersections is 4 kilometers. Distance between these two intersections RA V2, RA V3 is 7 kilometers. Then it says six ATMs are placed at six of the nine road intersections. So we have nine intersections, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Out of these nine intersections, there are exactly six ATMs has been placed. Now it says that each ATM has a distinct integer cash requirement and the numbers at the end of each line in the figure indicate the total cash requirement of all ATMs placed on the corresponding road. So in this road, if you talk about road RA, there could be one ATM or two ATMs or three ATMs on each intersection considering the sum of the total demand Okay, the total cash requirements at these ATMs is 22 and all three numbers are distinct. Okay, so at first I thought that there are so many possibilities with 22, 20, 20, 15, 21, 26. There could be so many possibilities where some of these three numbers are uh, as given and they are distinct. But then I saw that it says, for example, the total cash requirement of the ATMs placed on RA is 22. But then it says, the following additional information is known. The ATMs with the minimum and maximum cash requirements of 7 lakhs and 15 lakhs are placed on the same road. Now, this was a very useful information that the minimum requirement was 7 lakhs and the maximum requirements was 15 lakhs. So basically, if we have six ATMs, it will have some requirement. So those requirements must be from 7 to 15 because minimum is minimum is 7 and maximum is 15. And it says that 15 and 7 belong to the same road. These ATMs with demand of 50 lakhs and 7 lakhs are on the same road. Now, if we think about that, I thought 7 and 12, 15 are on the same road, then 7 plus 15 is 22. So total requirement must be 22 or more than 22 on that particular road. So I saw only two roads, 22, 26. Then I thought if 15 and 7 both of them are on this road V3. Then requirement on the third ATM must be 4 lakhs, which is not possible. 22 plus 4, 26, because the requirements must be between this. So let's cancel this out. So 7 and 15 must be on this road. 7 and 15. Out of these three, two of them will be 7 and 15. Now, Next it says the road distance between the ATM with the second highest cash requirement and the ATM located at the intersection of RC and V3 is 12. RC and V3, this one, this one and the second highest. The distance is 12 kilometers. So how can we achieve 12 kilometers? Think about this, 4, 7, 3, 5. How do we get 12? So 7 plus 5 is 12. So either we can go from 5 to 7 here or we can go from 7 to 5 here, right? 
both the cases this will be second highest the second highest requirement will be here now let's think about this again that 7 plus 15 is 22 how can we say that 20 and 20 can be achieved so if i take 15 has been taken 7 has been taken if i take 14 then it must be 14 plus 6 which is not possible as 20 right so 14 is not possible if i take one of the atm as 13 then other must be 7 but 7 is already taken so 7 is not possible so we need to figure out two numbers two distinct integers whose added up to 20 so we can take 20 plus 8 as well as 11 plus 9 no other possibility so we can have 11 plus 9 here or 12 plus 8 here now in that case can we say 12 will be our second highest so this place where we are supposed to put the second highest must be must be only here and nothing else this must be 12 so in this road there must be exactly two atms where requirements are 8 lakhs and 12 lakhs then let's come to the third road third horizontal road requirement is 20 so we already have 9 and 11 right so this is what we got till now now if we try to figure out where we can put rest of the values we have put only one number so far 12 but if you think about rest of the numbers what we can put here in on vertical road v2 the total requirement is 21 so only 9 can come here now this is fixed 9 is is here what about the rest of them i have taken 12 i have taken 9 now how do we get 15 so of the remaining numbers i can get 7 plus 8 is equal to 15 or 15 and nothing else so there will be two different cases right so let's try those cases two different cases in one case we know that 12 must be here 9 must be here and in one case i will take 15 here and nothing else in this road then i can take 7 here and 8 here 12 is already here 9 is already here <coughs> Now, if 7 is here, I cannot put 15 here. 15 must be only at this intersection, RA and V3. And same, if 15 is here, 7 must be here. So, what we can say about total sum as 26? It must be 11 here. There is nothing here. Now, in this case, 7 plus 8 is 15. 12 plus 9 is 21. 15 plus 11 is 26. All good. But in this case, 15, 12 plus 9, 21, 7. What else do we need? We need 8 here and 11 here. So 15 plus 11 is equal to 26. So this is the placement of all the 6 ATMs with different cash requirements on the intersection of these 6 roads provided. Now, let's check the questions. Which of the following statements is correct? The cash requirement of the ATM placed at RC V2 intersection cannot be uniquely determined. RC V2, RC V2, RC V2. In both the cases, the requirement is 9 lakhs. So this is not correct. This is false, right? The ATM placed at RC V2 intersection has a cash requirement of 9 lakhs. So this one is correct. So we don't need to check the rest of them. Even if you check, you will see that they are not correct. Question number six, how many ATMs have cash requirements of 10 lakhs or more? So we already have the values, right? We have one of them as 11 lakhs, 12 lakhs and 15 lakhs. So our answer for this question, question number three, will be exactly three. Three ATMs have cash requirements of 10 lakhs or more. Question number seven, it says, which of the following two statements is are definitely true? Statement A, each of RA, RB, RC has two ATMs. Let's check. RA has two, RB has two, RC has two. In both the cases, yes, that is true. 
This is definitely true. Second statement, each of V1, V2, V3 has two ATMs. Now, V1, 2, V2, 2, V3, 2. But in this case, V1 has only one ATM. Road V3 has three ATMs. So second statement is not always true. So this is false. So what we can say? Only statement A is true. Question number eight, it says, what best can be said about the road distance between the ATMs having the second highest and the second lowest cash requirement? Second highest and second lowest cash requirement. Second lowest is eight. So in this case, the distance is four kilometer. And in this case, the distance between 12 and eight is seven kilometer. So it will be either seven or either four. So our answer is option C, either 4 kilometer or 7 kilometer. Question number 9, it says, what is the number of ATMs whose locations and cash requirements can both be uniquely determined? So out of all the 6 ATMs, the position is fixed for this one, this one and this one. Only 3 ATMs, rest of them position are yet to be determined uniquely. So our answer will be three ATMs, right? The answer will be three here. Okay, thank you.